As part of today's lab, we'll be using the Secchi disk to identify how deep down in the water the light goes. Now, this isn't going to be perfect. Our light, our eyes see light differently than other things in the ocean, but it'll give us at least a ballpark of how far down the light is going, which will give us an idea of how far down the algae can live because they rely on light to make their food through photosynthesis. Now, the way this works is we have our disc, and you can see there's a line connected to it, and on the line, there's different markings. So we have black ones and we have red ones. The black mark indicates a half meter, which is about a foot and a half, and the red marks indicate a full meter, which is about three feet. And it's attached to a spool, so we have plenty of line. So I'm going to take this down to the harbor and lower it into the water one meter at a time, and then we'll look to see if we can still see the disc. And we keep lowering it one meter at a time until we no longer can see the disc, and then we pull it up just until we can just see the disc. The, um, the disc. The reason why it's white and black is that contrast helps us have something to look at. Once we've figured out exactly how far down we can see it, we'll measure how far we are from one of the markers using our meter stick, and that will help us know how far down our Secchi disc went into the water. Now, this may hit the bottom. It's a pretty nice day out. And if it does, all that tells us is that light is going all the way down to the bottom. If it doesn't hit the bottom, then that tells us something too. Now, just the disc, though, gives us an idea of how far down we can see the disc, but light doesn't go into the water in a straight line. It actually bends. And so to account for that bending of light, we're going to have to take the value we measure and multiply it by three three so that we get the true distance the light is traveling into the water.